Hi, this is Craig in Tokyo for Digital People Folk, and today I wanted to go over my experience doing a boot camp on Flutter for mobile app development, and just wanted to let you know how it went for me and what I actually did. So, basically, I wanted to kickstart developing apps. And I've been studying off and on Flutter since I saw it around June of this year. And currently it's November. And I really thought that I just want to dedicate a little bit of time towards just learning Flutter. And what I did was I took off Monday and Tuesday and I started on a Saturday morning. And I just wanted to study using Flutter SDK for four days straight. And my goal was practicing coding. Also, I don't want to work as a developer, but I really want to create my own ideas. Um, and I thought that some of the best things that could happen by doing this is that I can understand how to create my views, add images, text, switch pages, um, also some of the stylings using widgets, um, spacing, making sure that everything looks uh, clean and neat. And the ultimate goal would be to start the creation of data-driven apps and possibly Firebase. So to prepare for this, I definitely had to cook meals uh, beforehand and told my job uh, previously that I'm going to take Monday and Tuesday off. I'm not going to answer emails. I'm just going to be working on studying for four days straight. Also, my girlfriend was gone, so... Uh, I won't get into that. But anyway, this is how things went for me. If you're looking at this, I also expect that possibly you already know what Flutter is. It's a mobile UI framework by Google. Um, for me, uh, previously I looked at iOS development and I did a tutorial from Udemy, with, which actually was going very good. I think I did like 10 hours and then I realized wow, if I do this route and study iOS programming for what I want it to create, I still have to think about a solution for Android because there's a lot of Android users, a lot of iPhone users, um, and I wanted a solution that could uh, basically be a solution for both platforms. Also, you should know about material design uh, for layouts. Um, Dart is the coding language that was developed by uh, Google, so you will be coding within Dart. So this is how my boot camp started. Day one on Saturday, I started out thinking that the best approach was going through uh, Steven Greider's course on Udemy. Um, and I have a, another one of his courses, I think was React. And I liked his style. Um, I liked the fact that he was very thorough and his in his explanations of everything. He breaks everything down. Um, so I thought I'd start with his course. So I started at 10 a.m., Ended at 11 p.m. and I went through um, I went through his tutorial with uh, generic app building. Um, he explained using different states. Um, also, he did a tutorial about HTTP requests going into a APIs and forms and validations. Also, he started getting into React programs and. Re React programming and uh, advanced Flutter archi architecture. And also, he started to go into the block. So, also, what did I build for that day? It took a while, but he basically has a tutorial, and I created this 
data API app, which pulled in uh, data from an API, and it just showed um, a, a scrollable view, just showing images and some text underneath it. And then also a login app, which is very useful for any application. And I thought this was a really good start. Then day two came along and I was following along with the same course. Now his co course is about 30 hours long, I believe. And then we started to get into um, more technical aspects, uh, looking into the RX Dart for reactive programming. Also, I started getting into animations and uh, performance data fe fetching and testing. And unfortunately, I didn't complete this. Um, and I felt that what I was learning did not meet my requirements at the time. Um, it's a great course, but I looked at the documentation on his page and realized maybe this is a course catered towards more seasoned developers than the beginner who's coming in and looking at Flutter as their initial core language, uh, well, solution, and Dart as their first language um, to really dive deep into. I do know Python, but I'm mainly using it for data science, so I can't say that I'm using it for object-oriented uh, programming. I ended at about 53% of the course, um, and it's a 31 hour course. So what I did do on day two was switch over to Flutter and Dart the Complete Flutter App Development Course by Paolo. I had purchased a few different courses on Udemy and decided that maybe this might be more geared towards a beginner. So what did I learn? I started, um, unfortunately the time is wrong there. I started around uh, 12 or one and he went through the control flow and dart, uh, generics on um, object oriented programming, um, also data structures and collections, the dart libraries, um, how to set up. I, I think I skipped the setup because I was already set up um, and he went over some basic layers layouts talking about the containers and widgets and uh, flutter and just material design in general so what did I build I built a really basic app just using the scaffold and um, a button and then also he went over making gestures. Uh, gestures is that little pop up down at the bottom. I actually felt good with this pace and thought that, you know, I was learning a lot by creating a variety of apps. So on day three, we got into st stateful and state less widgets. Um, also, building more layouts and more widgets. Then we we created a couple of apps uh, with the Weight on Planet X app, um, building a BMI app, which was a challenge. So some of the things that we created were a Make It Rain app, which you click the button and you basically uh, made incremental amounts to the amount of money. And then also we did a simple login, which, which can be used in any situation. Then also, we created a weight on planet X, where you calculate, where you input your weight and it calculates your weight on different planets. Then also, create a BMI calculator where you put in your age, your height, your weight, and it calculates your BMI. And then also we got into JSON parsing, pulling data from an API and formatting it. At this point, I'm actually pretty stoked because it's 
day three and I created like five apps. So day four, day four is where we started to get into a little bit of more complex apps. There was a challenge from the day before and I decided to go to sleep so that I have time in the morning to get up and just think about how to create this. Um, so it was a Quake app. It was getting into a weather app using APIs and then also getting into uh, the different paths and writing documentation, um, making files on devices. So what we actually built was an app that pulled in the earthquake data and styled that, um, which unfortunately, I did not do good on by myself, but four days, I really didn't want to um, spend a lot of time on the challenges that I could, couldn't do. Um, so I, I did do about half of it um, and completed the tutorial with Paulo. Um, next, there was this weather app that we created together um, where you input the city and it shows the weather for that city. Uh, and I started around 10 a.m., ended at 11 p.m. So I ended Paulo's course at 73%, um, and this is a 29 hour course. And the result of the full boot camp was I spent about four days. 45 hours of studying, and this is minus the time where I took a little bit of breaks just to rest up um, or me sleeping. It was about 30 hours of video, and I made about 11 apps. My final thoughts, four days wasn't enough for me to study data-driven apps. Um, I think I need more time for that, and also, um, with Paulo's courses, the next lessons are text files, SQL Lite, and Firebase, which I'm very much um, looking forward to. And after that, I actually have been coding a little every day or taking some evenings just to refresh on Dart to go over things that maybe I didn't understand or just to get more uh, solid foundations. Um, also, Things that I want to do is add a little bit more features to some of the apps that I created. And uh, I have been spending uh, more time on just doing some refreshers um, in, you know, five hour chunks or, you know, three hour chunks just to learn things that um, like, for example, just going over uh, constructors or, you know, the different data types um, or generators, for example. And I, I think that doing four days straight definitely will give you a good solid foundation. Please pick a really great uh, beginner's course to do that and spend the time. And I think that, you know, it'll give you a really good core foundations um, because Flutter is still new. Um, they're not even at, you know, full release yet. I think that, you know, might come out uh, 2019 or something. But anyway, just giving you my experience and hope that this helped you in studying uh, Flutter. This is Craig in Tokyo for Digital People Folk and signing off.